Hey everyone, and happy GTA 5 launch day. Fun fact, this is the fourth time in history where you've been able to say that. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to set up the new speed improvements for your vehicles after migrating your character, and this will also unlock you a free souped up car. So immediately after getting into a GTA Online session after transferring, you'll notice a vehicle icon with an HSW mark above it. Depending on which agency you have, it will be right down the road. That's how it was for me. It's right down the road for my agency. But it is near Vinewood Boulevard. You should be able to find it very easily. Once you get there, open up the garage, a cutscene will play, and for the sake of time and spoilers, I will not show the cutscene, but you will be placed into a time trial with a Turismo Classic, but it's not just any old Turismo Classic, it's fitted with the new speed upgrades. You'll have 8 minutes to complete this time trial, it's essentially just a drive around the city, it's not too difficult, but it does sound challenging because it does have that lengthy time, but trust me, they give you way more time than you actually need, I was able to finish it with a whole 2 minutes to spare, it's not too difficult. It's after this that you unlock a discount for a free house special works upgrade and the entire house mod shop itself. And this is also the time you unlock the free vehicle for purchase, the Karen S95. And it's very important that you do not purchase this vehicle beforehand, it will only be free once you complete the time trial and unlock his shop. Originally I had thought my game was bugged and that the free discount didn't show for me, but no, you just have to complete the initial time trial to get it first. From there, to use the new mod shop feature, you need a vehicle that is HSW capable. If you want to know which ones are capable, there is a laptop inside the LS car meet that shows all the eligible vehicles. Your first HSW package will be free via the discount that you just got, which will save you quite a bit of money because these upgrades can run you in the range of around a million dollars. And that's only for the beginning package, there's still more upgrades to apply after that. And again, these upgrades can only be applied at this area in the LS car meet. But that's pretty much all there is to it. If you guys enjoyed the video or found it helpful, feel free to leave a like as well as subscribe to my channel for more GTA Online next gen content. I have plenty more videos planned in the coming days. And as always, thanks for watching and have a great day.